NC State at Clemson. Clemson is a 16-point favorite hosting their ACC rival over under set at 48 and a half. It's been a disappointing season so far for NC State this year, Mason. Um, and it was a disappointing start for Clemson, I do believe, in the first game. But I think a lot of people understood that, you know, that may be a speed bump that Clemson's got to absorb and move on. They put it in the rearview mirror real quick, did what they needed to do against App State the following week, and then were off there in week three for the bye. NC State, on the other hand, I said it hasn't went very good, and, um, you know, I believe that's an understatement, actually. This NC State defense has just been rock, and offense hasn't been able to come up with a ton of answers, not scoring a ton of points, um, you know, at least statistically for this team. Uh, we'll pull up some – some of the key players and, and you know, uh, keys to victory here in a minute. But, man, it's just been – it's been tough. And Grayson McCall goes down injured, um, and everybody's been talking about C.J. Bailey, who came in in the game last week, uh, went 13 for 20, did his thing, uh, 156 yards, 27 rushing yards, did not throw a touchdown. Um, but he has been named as a starter. So, I guess Grayson McCall is done. I, maybe he – you know, I, I don't know what happened with him. I, I guess he's – I don't know how long he's done or whatever. C.J. Bailey has been named the starter. Mason, I don't think this makes any difference in this football game other than the fact that now you got to go on the road with a guy who doesn't have any experience, which, yeah, that sucks, but is the upside for C.J. Bailey higher than Grayson McCall? I feel like we all thought Grayson McCall was going to be this – this, this guy that we bring in from this lower classification, this lower level team, look what he's done there. And then I think he got to NC State and we realized, oh, snap. He was part of a system. He was a system quarterback. We didn't realize that. And he did it at a lower level as well. It just didn't translate. It did not translate. Uh, I don't think it was ever going to translate. So I think this was a good move moving on to C.J. Bailey and, and go ahead and turn the page because NC State fans were, were pretty exhausted by what they had seen already in the first quarter of the season for NC State. Um, don't waste any more time. Turn the page. You haven't lost an ACC game yet, so make it happen. What are your thoughts on this game? Obviously, C.J. Bailey going against that Clemson defense is going to be really tough. That's, that's tough. That's a tough assignment to come out and, and go handle that your first time out. Oh, and by the way, it's not a neutral site game. you got to go to Clemson. you got to go to Death Valley. Man, that's tough. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Clemson, you know, for the struggles they've had on offense, which, which we didn't see that in week two um, against App State, it seemed like they they finally found some things with their offense. Um, I, I think that that's going to continue, but going back to what you were talking about with C.J. Bailey, um, th this is something that we said, uh, on, on, on Sunday show that CJ Bailey should be the starter. Um, and I think Dave Doran might've just been watching in and said, you know what? I think that those two guys are right. Those two knuckleheads over there, they, they may, might just be right about this guy. Um, but no, I mean, I, I kid, but you, you look at what he is from a physical standpoint, uh, it nearly six, seven runs like a gazelle, um, and I, I think it, you, you've got to like the weapons, you know, or, or him as a weapon, I guess. Um, and, you know, you, you couple him with uh, Casey and and I, I feel like you've got you've got two guys who could kind of take over a football game if everything goes well. He's got a tall order ahead of him with this Clemson, Clemson defense. I, I don't really like it as um, I guess it will be his first start. I'm not sure if he started last week or not, but. Uh, but ultimately this is a tough test and, and this is a game where you're going to find out a lot about yourself. Um, and it'll be a great measuring stick for him. Um, I just, I don't really, I don't really like him in this matchup. I, I don't, I don't know that he's necessarily the answer to win the football game, but I do like the skill traits that he possesses probably just, just an, an unfinished product at this point, but who knows, maybe he goes out here. Um, they, they install some, some offensive packages specifically for him and his game, not for Grayson McCall's game. Um, and maybe he's able to go out there and, and um, drive the football and, and turn this into a football game because, I, I mean, you see Clemson as a heavy favorite at 16 points. <clears throat> they're, they're a heavy favorite for a reason. Uh, they're a much better, much more complete football team at this point. 
Um, I would have leaned NC State going into the season. They've done nothing to to warrant that at this point. Uh, and, and now I feel really good about uh, about Clemson uh, heading into this football game. Yeah, absolutely. NC State, defensively, you talked about uh, uh, about Clemson's offense and the struggles that they've had early in the season. and um, It looked really good against App State, no doubt about it. I, I think they've got exactly what the doctor ordered coming up, right? Um, NC State's defense has allowed 30.7 points per game this year, and that is skewed by Tennessee. Tennessee came in there and just totally treated them like a skid mark in their underwear, right? I mean, it, it was – just absolutely terrible. Uh, put up, what, 59 points on them, 51, something like that. It was just an absolute melee attack. Um, but they've they've averaged giving up 4.9 yards per carry rushing. That spells disaster whenever you've got a guy like Phil Moffa coming in, you know, that, that's going to be going to be hitting that line of scrimmage real, real hard, man. And um, he, he can make life pretty miserable for you if you can't tackle and and you don't have ta- uh, gap integrity. And, look, NC State doesn't really have either one of those. Uh, I don't think they're particularly great at tackling, and their, t- their gap integrity has just been terrible. So, um, fundamentally, I, NC State's defense, you could have bet on them over the last few years, and, and you, you know, it, you could have thrown – you could have thrown darts in the dark, right? And, and you probably would have hit on NC State's defense. They're, they're, they've been pretty good over the last few years. Doesn't look like the same group to me this year. And and then you, you couple that with an offense that struggled. Uh, give me Clemson to cover here, Mason. I, if I'm going to bet this, give me Clemson to cover because I, I, I'm not betting on a first-time starter going on the road to Death Valley to, you know, cover a double-digit spread in a 48-and-a-half point over-under. You know, I, I'm just that, – that's not that's not happening here. Um, I, I could honestly I, – I think the 48-and-a-half is just dead on too. I mean, because I, I really see this game being like, um, you know, 35-14 to 14 maybe or 35-7. to 7. I, it, You know, somewhere in between there, it's not going to be particularly close, I don't think. Um, Clemson's defense is going to be able to eat in this one. What do you think? Yeah, I completely agree with you. I think Clemson's offense has something to prove uh, in this football game and and going forward. Um, the look, this was a team that struggled on offense last year, and um, you know, Kate Klubnik uh, <clears throat> mainly has been a, a quarterback that's been in question. Uh, he's the second quarterback for Clemson now in a row that's been in question, and so to me, couple couple NC State's defensive um, deficiencies so far with the fact that there's a little bit of a fire under this Clemson team. Uh, and, and I think that, I think that you, um, uh, as, as Kate Klubnik, you know, you should be able to, to go out and, and really win here. Um, just, just head to head. And then on top of that, you've got the, the, the extra fuel to the fire here, uh, for, uh, for Clemson to go out and really lay some points up. Um, and then on the flip side, CJ Bailey coming in first start freshman quarterback, this isn't a great great team to face your first time. Uh, your first time around. The, the overall, this uh, Clemson defense has got pieces everywhere on the field. Probably a little bit worse on the back end, but I think that the NC State offensive line, which has struggled so far this season, is going to have their hands full with this front seven of, of Clemson uh, and and limit the ability of uh, CJ to 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 be able to stand in the pocket and really dish it out. Um, you're going to see a lot of KC. Um, you know, end arounds and and they're going to try to get some quick throws to them and things like that. Uh, that that's about the only way that CJ Bailey is is probably going to be effective. Uh, all in all, I'm with you. Uh, give me Clemson and and I'll lay all those points. I kind of like this. We'll we'll have to wait until Thursday night on our best bet show to see if I pick it as a best bet. Uh, I'm kind of leaning that way though. I feel pretty good about about Clemson in this football game. Yeah, and and we talked about Clemson, the wide receiver room. Bryant Wesco, freshman out of Midlothian, Texas, emerging as a pot play threat. Somebody to watch. Uh, Jake Brenning Stool, somebody we didn't mention in the in the breakdown there. Somebody certainly to watch as well. Um, definitely, we'll we'll have an eye on this one. We'll see what C.J. Bailey can bring to the NC State Wolfpack. <laughs>